This is the uh, uh, power supply board from Circuit Creations. It's the K101. It's uh, got an adjustable power, I guess, like voltage regulator, you would say, right? Is that? It's a potentiometer that, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that will actually... regulate the voltage using the LM317. Which there's That's the potentiometer the, uh, that comes in is. the kit. Yeah. And then here's the LM317 that comes in the kit. Um, but we might replace that with a smaller one. And then it comes with uh, three capacitors right there. Um, can you see the, uh, this one is 100 microfarads, 50 volt. I think this is 33 microfarads, 50 volt. And then 10, 10 microfarads, 50 volt. Um, and then it also comes with, we've already started the assembly of, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, that would actually be easier. Here's a second board that we already started assembling with the, the resistors. And a couple of diodes. Yes. So the cool thing about this particular kit, well, this kit has some, some pros and cons. The cool thing is is that um, it looks like it's pretty fairly simple to put together with um, lots of really you know, nice chunky uh, through hole um, parts in here that that can be put together fairly quickly by someone with you know absolutely no skill at all. Um, but except maybe soldering. Yeah. Um, one of the issues that we have is that if it does come with a data sheet that explains where everything goes, um, which if you lose that, you cannot find that information online. Yeah. Um, we're and there's a, there's actually no question as far as where things go except for the C2 and C3, C2 and, C3 uh, and we don't have the data sheet so we're kind of a little uh, lost as to where so. these which which holes these come in so we're actually doing the math behind where the appropriate capacitors should be and um, unfortunately that's that's like the only negative here is is that, that there's no way to just download it online I guess we're so used to being able to <laughs> look online find and everything. finding stuff but this kit does not have any online instructions and yeah, th there's no video as well on on this kit in action so once we get everything put together we'll throw it online we'll also resolve the question of C2 and C3 and where they go and uh, hopefully have a finished uh, power supply kit that uh, looks like it'll be really simple to put together as long as you know where the stuff goes so without further ado I'm gonna stop now and then show you uh, what this will look like with all the parts through the holes so we've got uh, the question of C2 and C3 we have currently C2 connected to a 10 microfarad capacitor uh, C3 is connected to a 33 so we see that the position of the LM317 has flat surface facing outwards. This can be useful for putting it up against a heat sink uh, if you need it for, for our application. It's not going to need a heat sink, but um, if you're doing huge amounts of, uh, of uh, power, then you might, it might get a little hot because mm. um, it's not the most efficient regulator, so you'll lose some power as heat. Uh, through the regulator. Um, we see that with the little potentiometer we have the screw in facing outwards so you can adjust it and underneath we have uh, the through hole legs sticking out. Remember that the long side is positive and here there are some really nice markings for which side is positive and which side is negative. There's even like a little notch in the chip. Yep, there's a little notch on the chip as well. And then these are for jumpers, which were not included in the kit. Um, but I fortunately have on hand... Um, we got tons of headers. Yes. Right? Look at all those headers. Yeah, so you can use it. That's a yeah, we could just uh, yeah. But yeah, pinch right, some yeah. off. and, and yeah. If you just cut those, you could put yeah. them through the solder and then and you're good to go. Cool. Um, yeah. All right, so now it looks like we're ready to solder this together. So uh, everything, just do a quick visual. Got the couple of diodes there, some and you resistors. Could, you could replace the potentiometer with an, a smaller version, like if, if weight is an issue, or you could replace the LED. Mm -hmm. you can Access as well. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we're ready to solder. Let's do that next. 
Okay, I've uh, completed soldering of all the components. Um, as you can tell, I went ahead and let the solder leak through the top just to prevent corrosion. Um, and if you'd like, I mean, some people like to turn, such as uh, like the LM317, they, they like to bend them down and I would suggest using a tool like this and bending the leads prior to soldering, um, depending on what your application is in the space that you have to fit it in. But I think I did a pretty good job of soldering. And then we added the um, the single the single inline jumper pins. And then I just clipped everything off on the back so that it's as smooth as I could get it. And uh, so there we go, we'll uh, fire it up. So we have the uh, output right now connected to some helping hands because what we're gonna do is we're going to show what the power output is um, coming out of this power supply from a 9 volt battery and we're going to show it being changed as we adjust the potentiometer so there's going to have to be a lot of hands involved here because Annika is going to have to uh, um, probe, the the, yeah. Yeah, probe the leads that are on the output the input is coming in through jumpers into uh, from, this, um, from this battery here so we're going to get an initial reading right now so what's the Let's just do a, an initial reading off of the output right now okay. before we make the adjustment. So we're getting kind of 6.54. Red red now I'm going to make an adjustment on the potentiometer here and we're going to see a change in Did you get in? the... So you should see it changing slightly. So we're I'm adjusting the potentiometer. Oh, the light went out. Yep. So you second. can see there's you an can LED. See that in. There's an LED, and when we go all the way down, it comes out. It and fades. so I, I'm adjusting the potentiometer now, real slowly, and we can see that it drops down to from five to four, down to three to two, and turns off. And now, as we adjust it back up, and you can see that the LED also as we adjust the potentiometer comes in and out of the power supply. So see here, I have a screwdriver in the potentiometer and turns on and turns off as we adjust it. So here we go, we've got a working power supply.